Welcome to Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes, Ultra Rad Stretching with Visha Lou. And guess what? You're right. I'm Visha Lou. So first we are going to do elbow stands. Um, that one I actually know the name for. Yes, and it's also my favorite trick because uh, it takes in flexibility, uh, balance, and strength. You're upside down, bent in half. It looks cool. So much you can do in it. It's an awesome thing. So yeah, let's learn it. Uh, I would go against a wall first while first learning out how to do it or have a partner help you because finding that balance can be kind of tricky. But um, this is how you would do it on your own. Now, put your elbows and hands in a triangle. You can put it out like this too, but I find the triangle gives you more stability. Press up into it. Yeah. So once you're up there, you can just hold in one pose, really feel that, get deep into that stretch, or move around. Uh, practicing both is good. Uh, being able to hold one part for a long time and also being able to move around against the wall way would be like this. So find the wall, then you just want to try to find your balance. And then once you find it, hold in it. Next is headstands. You're gonna rest on your noggin. Yep. Um, you could do it against the wall or on your own. Um, I'm gonna show you on your own. Uh, if you're having troubles kicking your feet up to even find that spot at first, or pressing up and getting into it, I suggest starting against the wall. Um, yeah, the wall is your friend. Use it until you find your own balance. Cool. So, you're going to put your arms down in a triangle position. Um, I don't know, people have their hands all sorts of different ways. I guess see what's comfortable for you. And then you're going to put your head in between your elbows, and then you are going to press or kick up. Um, pressing is more elegant, but uh, yeah. So, head on ground. <laughs> And then you want to stay really tight. Squeeze your butt. Make sure your legs are together, toes are pointed, and you're holding there. You can go down into squat, <laughs> which I'm not so good at holding. But yeah, um, hold straight up in squat. Really feel it in your core. Um, and like I said, if you're having troubles kicking up at first or pressing up, um, you don't know where your balance is, do it against the wall. So, same deal with your arms and everything, just against the wall. And then see so you can find the wall, and then when you can press away, and find your own balance, then have it in there. You can like go to splits, kick around, do do do. are going to do handstands and we're going to do them against the wall. Um, for the most part, do it against the wall until uh, you really get used to being upside down. Your strength is better that way and then you can do it on your own and finding your balance and everything. Um, so yeah, go like this. And then just hold it. Try to hold it for a minute if you can. Have your butt squeezed, your feet together, your toes pointed, shoulders away, don't be like slouching down. Be as tall as possible, upside down, and yeah, hold it. Handstands. Next we are gonna do pyramids. It's um, exactly what it sounds like. You make yourself look like a pyramid. So, 
go on to your knees and lean back. Um, you can hold your heels and just get that motion of leaning backwards, put your head back, try to look at the wall, and you know, look a bit further down, take your arms this way, lower yourself. What you are wanting to work your way into is get like that you can work your way up so your arms are clamping on higher and higher up your legs so you get a little tighter and tighter and tighter until you're a wee little pyramid. Yes. Next we are going to do chest circles. Yep. Um, we're gonna do them on the bed. Um, yeah, I see a lot of people on YouTube doing practicing chest circles on a softer surface. I personally have only ever done it on the floor until like two seconds ago when I tried this out. Um, my way of getting into things are a bit trickier on the bed. Uh, I rolled out very quickly the first time, um, but then figured it out. The other way is what she is going to do for us. So, get right here. So, chest down, arms kind of like this beside you, and then you're going to kick up. And then over, so you're a little squishy, and then roll out, yeah. And then the other way that I do is starting in bridge. So you go up into bridge, work your way in, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's chest circle on the bed.